social distancing mean for the performing arts? Performing arts are all about a performer connecting with a live audience, and when live audiences can't convene, what's the performer to do? I gotta keep up my grades at this point. COVID-19, I actually had a really busy two or three months planned. Um, I had just gotten out of doing a show with uh, Bridget St. Bridget, Playboy of the Western World, and I was getting ready to uh, take maybe two or three weeks just to recollect my schedule and put everything together. Um, and I was going to go on a couple scholarship trips. I had one planned to a university in New York that got canceled. Um, and I had uh, FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, State Leadership Conference, and that has been moved to an online conference, which I find absolutely fascinating that they're gonna put that together. I'm not quite sure what all it entails yet, but I'm interested to see where it goes. And um, I was trying to see how many shows I could possibly fit into the month of March. Oh, I was so absolutely devastated because they were shows that I wanted to get to see that I didn't have the chance to, I didn't have the chance to go support my friends in a way that I thought that I would be able to. Um, but that doesn't mean that I've stopped supporting them since. I mean, I was still able to go and see maybe the last show of Once when I was at the Playhouse. I was able to get tickets that morning and go and support some of the people in that cast. Um, I think it's really just an important piece of this whole conversation is that making sure that we continue to stay together. And I really feel like this has given us an opportunity to build community rather than uh, let it fall apart. You know, we might not be together in person, but I feel like we have created a stronger connection through this, even though we're not face to face. We really have to make sure that some of our smaller organizations can pull through. Um, and I think the only way that we can really do that to make sure is to make sure that we are coming together as a community and asking each other what we need to keep moving forward. And so this time more than any is a time to really feel connected. Cause I mean, in today's society, you know, we may be next to each other, you know, two or three feet apart, but we are also connected to our devices and we are not paying attention to the emotions of other people that now when we are so separated and we can't be next to each other we can't take each other for granted our you know our physical beings being next to each other um, it's really important to understand how we can use that to really communicate and to rely on each other and so you know what communications have we put in place before now um, what connections do we have what networks do we have built to bring together and what nets do we have in place you know, what hands are held out when you fall back off of the rope are there to catch you. Community means more than just the people who are exactly like you. Community means everyone. And that's the soul and that's the heart and soul of what community theater is. I mean, we have a responsibility to care for each other. We have a responsibility to make sure that we are all able to continue moving this beautiful art form forward you know you can't just say community and mean a large group of people when you say community it's the network it's the webs that we have put together it's the hands that are there and the shoulders to lean on when we need it most and this is when we need it most I see a lot of different uh, new creative elements that I didn't expect to see coming forward now. I see a lot of uh, people who are generally immersed in the theater finding new ways to bring theater to people when they can't actually go out and sit in a theater. You know, there's the number of musicians that are doing concerts from their living rooms or um, the inspiration that's coming to put together um, one project that I even saw, the Shelter Belt Show Wagon, um, having artists perform monologues and record songs um, from their own homes to 
put that online and to be able to share this beautiful sense of theater with people in a time when we can't celebrate theater in a traditional way. I know that I can always count on this community to keep the ghost light on for me and that I just really appreciate everything that everyone has done to make sure that we are all safe and that we are all taken care for and just the idea of knowing that there's always going to be a community that cares is really important. I really think that that's what the ghost light is, is that knowing that there's always light somewhere, even if all the lights in the theater are off, there's always that one. And it's there to show that we will be back and this is not the end. Thank you.